Hello and welcome to the Catfires.com channel. Today I'm very happy to present an animation made by Dr. Francois Bagheni of Vetosite.fr. The subject of our animation is how cats become infected with feline coronavirus, the virus which causes feline infectious peritonitis, FIP. Let me introduce you to Augustus. Augustus is a healthy cat who happens to be infected with feline coronavirus, the virus which causes FIP in a few infected cats. Whenever Augustus passes feces, it contains billions of virus particles per gram or ounce of feces. Here you can see the virus particles in green. I'm too small for the naked eye, obviously. Here's the feline coronavirus. Augustus will excrete virus for a few weeks or months until his immune system finds a way to get rid of the virus and you may well never know that he'd been infected. Let me introduce you to Plato. He is an uninfected cat but unfortunately he shares a litter tray with Augustus. Plato contacts the cat litter contaminated with a highly contagious feline coronavirus. Some of the virus gets onto his paws and here you can see it in the carpet, deep down in the fibre of the carpet. As he grooms himself, he licks the virus off his paws and swallows some feline coronavirus particles. Let's zoom in on Plato's tongue. The cat's tongue is covered in little bristles and as we move in um, to a microscopic level, here we can see some coronavirus trapped in the bristles. The coronavirus goes down his gullet, into his stomach, and then from there into his intestine. The small intestine is covered in lots of little projections we call villi. This is to increase the surface area of the intestine, which allows food and water to be absorbed. Let's have a closer look at one of these villi. The villi is covered in little cells we call epithelial cells and here you see a coronavirus entering one. From now on a battle is waged between Plato's immune system and the coronavirus. If he wins he'll shed virus for a few weeks and then stop excreting virus. Though unfortunately if he's one of the 5 or 10 percent of unlucky cats he will develop feline infectious peritonitis. To find out more information about feline coronavirus prevention and FIP, visit catvirus.com. I'm deeply grateful to Francois for bringing this idea to life in his animation. Thank donors to catvirus.com for funding this animation. And thank you for watching. This is Diane Addy, praying for an end to all animal suffering.